Okay. So thank you everyone um, to attend this presentation. About a year ago when, when Diane uh, told me about the toxic ingredients in our medication, and I was like, oh my God, not many people know about this. It will be so great. One day we'll do an event together and here we are. Yeah, so, and um, before I start, I'd like to uh, read the disclaimer. The information we provide here is in this presentation is intended for your general knowledge only. It's not intended for to diagnose, treat or cure or prevent any diseases. So always talk to your doctor, your physician regarding a medical condition. A little bit about me. My passion is in helping people getting healthier and younger. This picture was eight years ago. So I guess I don't know that I look younger or, or that. And um, so in the last 23 years, I uh, started a journey to get training in natural health around the world. So I, you know, in US, LA, Phoenix, and uh, New Zealand, Canada, Australia. So I learned cellular health, cranial cycle therapy, polarity therapy, shiatsu, aromatherapy, and homeopathy. Uh, my, my major was in applied math and I, what the, I got most of it is problem solving. <laughs> Don't ask me anything about math. I, I work in visual effects for 27 uh, movies, including animation credit, uh, Final Dory, King Kong, Avatar, and Lord of the Rings. And I love photography and um, healthy cooking. And it's my honor to introduce my friend, Diane. Well, thank you too. It's my honor to be here. Um, I am very passionate about teaching health compromised individuals how to escalate that inner healing process and get rid of that toxicity that you're going to um, find out today how much how we get that toxicity in us. Um, I focus on parasite elimination and toxic waste. I have a bachelor's of arts in education, business education specifically. I never taught in a classroom but I've been teaching my whole career. Live in the middle of the state of Washington. I'm a mother, grandmother, and a Gigi ma, a great grandmother. Um, I am actually playing some golf this afternoon with my brother, and I do enjoy gardening as well. So what we're gonna cover in this presentation is first of all, we're gonna talk about symptoms that show up that you know, indicate our body has too much toxicity. And then we're going to connect with the cause, and then we're going to eliminate the crap, <laughs> and most importantly, going to commit to change. So, what are the symptoms that tell us the body is not detox detoxing fast enough? There are many: skin rashes, poor sleeping, fatigue, insomnia, diarrhea, bloatiness, dull eye color, blurriness, bloaters bloaters that cause those little black spots in your eyes. Your hair is dull and lacks color. Mood swings, depression, anxiety, that's not always just a sign of a bad attitude. Um, there can be a lot more going on there. Allergies and asthma, I'm a, I'm a victim and, um, and also a victory of overcoming mm -hmm. allergies and asthma and much more. So 90% of disease is inflammation. Inflammation, joint pain, insomnia, swollen joints, poor sleep, lack of interest in life, all of this is at the cellular level. Inflammation is called oxidative stress at the cellular level. And what's happened in Western medicine is we go after the symptom Put this on your joint, take this for your pain. This will help you sleep, but we're not getting to the cellular level with those remedies. So I picked this picture purposely. The mushroom looks so beautiful, right? But we know they are, they are poisonous. So we need to connect with the cause, identify the toxicity and how do we get it? I was uh, listening to the radio the other day and I was shocked to hear that newborn baby's blood test could show over 230 toxins. So at the start, we could get it inside your mother's womb. And from the air that we breathe, 
you know, for example, pollution. And then um, water that we drink, like our tap water, you know, in some area, it, it actually contain, uh, you know, arsenic, chlorine, and all that. And we could easily look up the quality of our water by going to this website and then just put in your zip code, and you you get a list. And our skincare, hair care, you know, toothpaste, and all that. And this is a list of uh, ingredients that are toxic. So if you look on the left, when a product is like, oh, it's ultra clean, that means it doesn't contain any of that. And then you go to Sephora, they say, oh, this is Sephora clean. And so in, additionally, you get, you get the list in the middle that don't, you know, don't, you know the product may contain. And then um, I recently used a product called Neora. And additionally, they have another long list. So I'm not promoting the, 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 the product, but this is what I do. I print out, if you want a, a PDF, I could share you. I basically print it out. And then I put it in my purse and I go shopping. If I want to buy some new product, I just check the list. Oh, oh no, 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 it can take that. I cannot have it. Yeah, so. And for years, years, I think maybe like seven years, my dentist kept telling me, no Listerine, no Listerine. And I tell Blue Mom, I said, well, they sell in the store, how bad can it be, right? <laughs> but you look, the ingredient is really, really bad. I don't use Listerine anymore. <laughs> and our household products, when we, when we use it, we also inhale it too. So it's, yeah, so all these are, you know, contains toxicity. And the food that we eat, right? Canola oil, <laughs> all that. So if that wasn't enough to identify where toxicity comes from, now we bring parasites into it and parasites are actually in our tap water. They're in our fruits and vegetables. They're, they're actually passed to us in the womb. If our, if our mom is full of um, parasites of any kind, they will end up in us before we're even born. So I was a huge sushi eater. I'm a Friday night sushi in a movie kind of gal. Undercooked fish or fish not cooked at all has over 10,000 parasite eggs per square inch. Those eggs, you know, hatch. <laughs> they hatch and they use you as a host. We're going to learn more about that. So the symptoms of parasites are actually, you'll see a lot of the symptoms on this list that are exactly the same as the ones we saw earlier. Um, diarrhea, bloating, allergies, you know, what we call bad behavior, nervousness or grumpiness, chronic fatigue. All of this can be a result of parasites. Even the vision problems, floaters, are actually a parasite. And there are three main categories of parasites. The ectoparasite is the one common to most people. They know about ticks. They know about spider bites. They know these things. Um, they're the ones with the hard shells. The helmets are the worms. Um, it's hundreds of different types of worms fit under this helmet category. And when you think of common things like um, varicose veins, you think of them as you've been told forever, it's from standing on concrete for years, being a waitress, this, that, and the other thing. You probably have worms in your veins. And then you have the really difficult ones to see with the human eye. You can't see them with the human eye. They're intracellular protozoans. And this, is, this comes from this is going to break a lot of people's hearts, mainly from cats. And we get them, um, it's called a toxoplasma, um, toxoplasma, I'll, I'll come up with it here in a minute, but coming from the kitty's feces because they eat the rats and, you know, they're, they're mice killers. We love that about kitties, but because they're ingesting um, these parasites, then they pass them on to you. Just the simple act of cleaning out their kitty box 
right, is how you're going to inhale them, touching them and then touching your ear, touching your, your nose after you've been playing with the cat. A big, um, these guys are big culprits for schizophrenia and migraines and other brain diseases. So there are ways that we can identify this, but the problem is we don't know to ask for testing of our blood for parasites. And there are very specific things that will show up um, like this high CRP. Um, if we have um, been told we have low iron or that we're anemic, we can be tested, our blood can be tested for these parasites. So high liver enzymes is another one. There's one called the liver fluke that embeds in the liver and uh, really does host off of us. So here are some very obvious signs of parasites in the system, but we don't, we just look at something like this on the right and go, wow, that's an interesting rash, isn't it? Once you start studying parasites, it'll, you, you'll deal with it right away. <laughs> <laughs> so another mission of mine in the last year has been understanding what's in medications. And a quick story I can give you about that is I have a daughter that was on 32 meds a day. 16 of them were opioids, all under a doctor's orders, all prescribed. It was criminal. And when we started taking systematically one drug at a time and understanding what was in there, um, she was able to, with that kind of knowledge, say, this isn't working. On her parasite cleanse, she was dropping entire um, depression meds, whole pills. So we had her put one pill in a, a fresh one in a little um, dish covered with water. I said, call me when it dissolves. Four days later, it hadn't even started dissolving. So she got rid of the antidepressants in a whole pill form. And then when she found out that her ADHD medication had three street methamphetamines in it, she quit cold turkey. It's, it's frightening. So one of the things I do is help people really understand what it is they're taking. When you know that MS medication has three white powders, one thickens paint, one is an acceptable alternative to asbestos, and one is used in petroleum products, then you will pay more attention to what's in your drugs. So what are some other sources of toxicity? Well, vaccines. A brand new mom looked at what was in the vaccine before she took her new child in and she opted out. It's frightening what they're putting in our vaccinations. Over-the-counter supplements. We think if we buy them at Costco, they're safe um, because they've been around forever. Well, you might be looking at the ingredients, but not the shell, the coating, the gel cap. What's in those things? It'll scare you when you, most of these words now, I know it's not simple process, but most of these words are, are unpronounceable. You take them and you put them in a Wikipedia and what you read about them is very understandable. So you have to really watch for the deceptive marketing practices because we're used to looking over the top of those great big long words. We just, we just kind of got used to that over the years. So how does the body detox? When we breathe out is carbon dioxide. And then we have organs that remove toxins, including liver, skin, kidney, intestines, limb nodes, and spleen. And then through urination, bowel movement, and sweating. We also do detoxing when we sleep. And we need to drink water to flush out the toxin. At the cellular level, our body produces antioxidants. So antioxidants is for reducing oxidative stress that Diane mentioned earlier, and free radical, which caused by toxicity build up. So glutathione is the master antioxidant during the day. It helps to detoxify and eliminate poisons and toxins in the liver, lungs, intestines, and kidney. And sadly, as we age, the production of glutathione decreases. 
melatonin is the antioxidant during the night for brain detoxification. So in addition to identifying what's in our meds, uh, what, you know, what we're eating, our nutrition, we need to look at hydration, movement, our levels of stress, these five pillars of health and our movement. Um, we need to really pay attention to that, um, not only while we're detoxing, but always. So the first one is hydration. Are your cells getting enough hydration? We have, I think, 70 trillion cells, and we need water to flush the toxin from the body. So how much water do you drink a day? A rule of thumb is two liters a day and three liters if you work out. And tea, juice, coffee, beer, and soup, they don't count. <laughs> <laughs> So are we eating enough micronutrients? You know, people talk all day long about we just can't get it in our food like we used to. There's a lot of truth to that because of the toxicity in the farming practices, what they're spraying the ground with, what they're treating the ground with before they ever plant the seed and the GMO modified seed that we're dealing with. But in all of that, you have to start somewhere. So start with color, have lots of color in your daily servings of fruits and vegetables. Um, little to no sugar. That's, you'll find out how lethal sugar is and it's in everything. Um, and we gotta stop eating before we're full. And this is a, a hard thing to do sometimes, especially when I have a new cook in my house, my daughter, and she's phenomenal. She's just a much better cook than I am. So I have to really consciously work on portions these days and um, not overeating. But one of the things that's really helped me and will help so many others is to only eat during an eight hour period of time. Many know this as intermittent fasting. And my time is from 10 until six, 10 a.m. until 6 p.m then I have 16 hours to process that food. If you stick with that, you'll be absolutely surprised by the results. So movement, the rule of thumb on this one is 30 minutes a day to um, be moving without stopping. So sometimes I know that's hard for people to do that regularly, but if we set timers, um, to get up from our desk, um, maybe even just mentally every hour, get up and move for 10 or 15 minutes. Even if you do those kinds of things that add up to 30 minutes, it's a great place to start. Okay, so how well do you sleep? One in four Americans develop insomnia each year. And how many hours do you sleep? Isn't the baby's cute. Right? <laughs> so, and then, and then what time do you go to bed? Is your room completely dark? Is your cell phone computer away from, from your bed? And how often do you get up during the night to use the bathroom? And do you feel rested when you get up in the morning? These are good questions to help you evaluate your sleep quality. And levels of stress. Um, another personal been there done this is self-inflicted stress, whether it's from a relationship, whether it's from a job, whether it's from a family member, a parent, a um, stress is a killer. It's a silent killer. And my body grew um, non-cancerous tumors while I was living in a very stressful situation that all had to be removed. And I wasn't able to save, um, what are those things that only women have? Ovaries, right? So I couldn't save one of those ovaries. But I'm telling you, we have to make hard decisions when it comes to stress. Sometimes it means leaving that relationship. Sometimes it means quitting that job. And sometimes it means that we have to just take a harder look at ourselves. Where are we with those five pillars of health? Are we getting out and breathing 
like Chu said, and exhaling, going on those walks and having that meditation time and doing the things that will lower that stress level. Very, very important things to do. Okay, so we, you know, knowledge is good, but we need to take actions. So what should I do? Um, start eliminating the toxin and the first step to turn your health around. Oops. So I know Chu wanted me to say, please get ready for this one for those of you that have weak stomachs. But, um, be, but this is going to show you what actually happens in a foot bath. And these are clients of mine, okay? Okay, so, you guys are ready? <laughs> I'm going to close my eyes. So she really hates this slide. And I insisted on it because I think it's really a, a powerful one to give you an understanding of what's coming out of the bottom of the feet when you're full of toxicity. Now, this gentleman on the right actually is a farmer. He's around buffalo. He raises buffalo. He, he does everything that farmers do in working outside. He's outside all of the time. And because of the stresses of having hundreds of acres and all of these animals and all these things, he just does not take care of himself. And so what we have here is, again, the colors that matter. The white bubbly is coming out of the lymphatic system. The dark brown grainy is coming out of the liver, this liver toxicity. So oftentimes the darker the green is, it's going to be some medication residue, um, some toxicity from that. But I'm telling you, when people will stick with me long enough to see what's actually coming out of their body, they take detoxing um, more seriously. Another way we can tell is through our blood, having blood tests. This is more palatable for two, <laughs> probably for many people. But on the left, you'll see what they call sticky blood. And after detoxing has taken place, then you can actually see how free flowing those cells are compared to the left side where this, the stickiness is going together. And remember that if, you know, when you have six cells, which you do on the left, you have a sick body. Mm -hmm. And I will emphasize again, Western medicine doesn't take us to the cellular level. And on mine is very important, um, meditation. So there are a lot of uh, very good, excellent uh, meditation app and classes out there. And these are the tool that I use. So if you are interested, you could uh, share your email and I'll send you the links. And I also, on my, on my website, allhealth.info, I also uh, share everyday health tips and including uh, the simple method to uh, how to create your natural electrolyte water with a pinch of salt and, and fresh drops of lemon. And, you know, it's very easy to replace your fragrance with pure essential oil such as for my young living on doTERRA. And then, and then your household cleaner, you can simply just use baking soda, vinegar, or clean product like Shackley or Beluga. And skin and hair care. Um, there's a lot of good products out there. And I, I list here just for example, the one that I use that personally experienced. And, and so, you know, stay away from fragrance, synthetic fragrance. And you could buy like, for instance, like Dr. Bronner's uh, soap uh, from, from the store. And toothpaste and mouthwash. Yeah, because the, because what we put in our teeth, we 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 sometimes you know swallow it too. So um, yeah, there's there's a lot of a uh, good brand out there. Or you can just simply just use baking soda. Actually, that's what my dentist told me. Or create your own. You put the essential oils. So okay, so water solution. So water filter. There's like Kenyan water filter. There's a lot of good water filter out there. And I use Multi Pure because it's more affordable. But do your research. Okay. So, and be really careful of reverse osmosis system because some system, they actually remove the good minerals too. So a body needs the good minerals. Yeah. And if you have any question about water, 
you could contact uh, my friend. I put the link there, and and I like him because he's he's. You don't have to buy anything from him, but if you ask question, he's you know willing to share data and all that. And that's how I found my award of future. Uh, micro micro nutrients are. Uh, a good rule of thumb is three times to say your your serving of organic vegetable and fruit. And I recently like to get it from the farmer's market. Yeah. And I take, um, if, if this, that, if that's not enough, then I take, I also take a clean supplement like a Mari, Farmonex, which is a new skin or see that there are a lot of good brands out there. And just be, as Diane mentioned, be really careful of synthetic supplement to add more work for your body to process. So for, for cellular detox, for myself, I use lightweight patches. And think of it as a, uh, because I, over the years, I, I get a lot of acupuncture. So it's an acupuncture without using a needle and a pad, using the patch. And I, what I like about this patch is 100% non-transnormal. Nothing go into my, my uh, go through my skin and it's drug-free, chemical-free. And, and what it is, is, is an organic uh, nanocrystal that get the body to activate certain peptide to get the body to heal itself. So this is for my allergy. So I put it right on my nose. <laughs> um, not today because I, you know, <laughs> I will look funny. Yeah, so glutathione patch is a lot more effective than supplement because the body doesn't need to digest. And this, the, the patch can increase up to 300% within 24 hours. And this guy, he has you know, on the left, you can see he has uh, acne issue and uh, good that's on patch. So this is a very key acupuncture point. And um, yeah, and this picture may be very overwhelmed, but it just kind of give you overall of, of what the patch could do. Yeah, so you can see the dog of the cataract and all this um, issue. Yeah, and this is just a small subset of what low good style in the body could lead up to. And if you want me mean, to share this uh, slide, I will be happy to share. And how does the patch work? It's just like, just think of it as a sunlight. Like, like sunlight, a body knows how to you know, produce more vitamin D based on the light frequency. And it's, it's, it has uh, over 90 clinical studies, so it's based on science. Very easy because personally, I'm very busy, so I want something that's very easy. So peel, put it on just like a band-aid. And it contain organic salt, sugar, water, amino acid. That's it. Very, very um, clean. Yeah. And the uh, and it forms a crystal lattice. So it's like a mirror that reflects our body light because we do emit uh, infrared light from our body. And um, so so I I tried this protocol. It works very well. And my team also tried it. So it contains um, a patch or uh, energy enhancer because toxicity is actually in the blood, right? So we want to move. When you are doing detox, you also want to move the blood, also need blood circulation, and also increase energy for the cell. And then glutathione, we know that it's an antioxidant. And uh, endocrine system, our home, hormonal balance is very important. And we also reduce craving too. So at night, I wear the carnosine patch because our organs, brain contain carnosine, and this helps detox and repair the organs. And sleep is very important. Silent night, yeah, it, it helps get the body to uh, produce its own you know, melatonin. So you're not taking the supplement, get the body to produce that uh, antioxidant. And Eon, it would activate the peptide in the liver. We know that liver is a big uh, detox organ to reduce inflammation and balance the cortisol level and stress. So what is it that we're doing with the ASEA Redox? This is a cell signaling molecule product. And what happens, it's the only one um, in the world that actually produces the same cell signaling molecules that your body naturally produces. And like Chu was saying earlier, as we age, we lose a lot of production capability in our bodies. And that glutathione needs, being the master antioxidant, needs some help too. Where ASEA will increase that uh, glutathione by eight times. So there's many reasons, or maybe is it five times? Maybe it's five times. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but there are many reasons to, to use this product. But what um, the main reason is that it defends, it repairs, and it replaces 
cells. And so it's because you and I are all made out of cells, we are based on the foundation of cells, as are animals. And uh, Angela is our resident small animal um, expert when it comes to cellular health, um, as are plants. And my daughter being a plant lover is um, just wishes she could have a reduced price to give it to her plants. <laughs> But it is an amazing, uh, amazing product that defends, repairs, and replaces the cells. So it's leaving cellular debris in your body, which is why where the water comes in and is so critical. You need to be flushing, flushing, flushing. So the next slide is showing the Renew 28. This is just the water, and it's simple enough. You drink a couple ounces in the morning, a couple ounces at night. The gel is where you can target bites, burns, scars, um, you know, dry skin issues, hormonal issues. Um, people even that are having trouble with their bowels, put it on your lower, below your belly button, and it will help move that. So when you drink the ASEA, the body, because it's innately intelligent, will determine where your hottest fire is and the and the take the product to that hottest fire where the gel you can target it yourself as to where your discomfort joints are just comfort points are but this is our favorite little rosy and rosy if you look at the top left at 84 and then the lower right at age 90 pretty amazing transformation Pretty amazing. She both drank it, the uh, redox molecules, as well as used the gel. The reason it's called Renew 28 is because our skin is supposed to shed every 28 days, and as we age, it does not. And this dramatic, lovely lady um, called herself a monster when she looked like she did in the left, and she looked like that for several years because of um, medication, uh, steroid cream that they were putting on her skin. She could no longer even take a shower without crying. The pellets of water hurt so bad on her skin. When she first started with the SIA and no one could figure out how to help her, they just kept giving her more steroid cream, different steroid creams. When she started using the SIA, um, we could only spritz just spritz her lightly. The gel was too strong for her. So it took about two months of spritzing before the gel was applied, before she came back and said, I have my life back. We've got to get to the cells. So uh, we'd like to introduce uh, our friend, Angela Park, to share her testimony. And Angela is one of these that uses both of our products which is why we've asked her to be here. So thank you, Angela, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. So um, I want to start by saying that, you know, for me throughout my whole life, my childhood, I had a very weak immune system. Um, I had a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression going on. Also for, uh, for about 14 years before I first found ASEA, I was dealing with a chronic thyroid challenge that left me with chronic fatigue. I mean, it would wipe me out for 10 to 12 hours in the daytime on top of um, sleeping at night, really heavy brain fog. Um, my skin and my hair were a mess, really brittle, always having breakouts, um, really strong cravings for like carbs and sugars. Um, circulation issues, gut issues. So I had a whole, whole man of stuff. Um, and five years ago, I found, or I was introduced to ASEA. Um, now I had been to doctors that whole time and none of them could actually help me with my issue because my um, results on the thyroid test came out on the low end of normal. And if you don't pass that certain number that they want, they're not going to help you, Right. Um, so when I started, um, I was 
you know, I just started. And then on day 21, I noticed there was a change. I ended up sleeping longer. And I, you know, I talked to enough people before I started that I understood this was a detox. So I ended up sleeping for like 14, 16 hours straight per day for four days. And then on day 26, I woke up at 5 a.m. full of energy um, up to the point where I, if it hadn't been dark, I would have gone out to run because I had that much energy just vibrating through me. Um, my mental clarity, like the brain fog was gone. It felt like a really heavy blanket had just been lifted off of me. So that was really cool. And that day also when I went out, I noticed my vision was different. It was clearer. The colors were, were more vibrant. Um, even sounds like the birds singing. It was just so much clearer. So um, by day 45, my cravings for the sugar and carbs completely stopped. I haven't had them since. And the cravings weren't just like cravings. It, I, I always thought, oh, this is what people who are addicted to like drugs must feel like because it was like, I had to have it. If I didn't, it would really just, I would just break down, you know? Um, by day 95, all of my thyroid symptoms went away and none of them have returned. Um, I realized after about a year on it, um, all of my anxiety and depression had never returned because I, I came up with solutions on how to manage it. So it only happened once or twice a year for three to four five weeks at a time, but those stopped happening completely. I never had any dips from that point on. And of course, my gum pocket count, my dental story, um, over every single year when I get that done, my gum pockets have improved in numbers up to the point where this uh, March, when I went back to get my fourth one, um, they didn't even count it because they said, oh, it's it's one of those that's too good. We don't need to count it. So that was pretty cool. It went so it went from fours to threes to that. Um, and of course, I've used Renew 28 uh, countless times for first aid. Um, I don't know. Do you want me to talk about Oliver's experience, my dog? Yes. Okay. So Oliver, I had a long haired chihuahua, um, my first uh, fur love, 16 years old. And um, before he had blood pressure issues, late stage heart issues, slow thyroid issues, a respiratory bronchial issue that none of the vets could figure out, even specialists. And he had joint issues. He was on five different meds that gave him all sorts of side effects, including being weak and unsteady. He started staring off into space, couldn't hear me when I was calling him. You know, it was really, really depressing. And I was at the point uh, just before um, my aunt introduced to see it to me, I was trying to decide, is it his time to go? And so I went full force. I got him started by day six. The fur that he had lost on the back of, um, on his back due to the thyroid issue, I noticed new growth. And I was like, hallelujah, <laughs> like this is amazing. What's going to happen? By day 17, he actually walked four blocks. And um, at that point, he hadn't been able to go on walks because he couldn't keep up and he couldn't walk that far before getting too fatigued. By day 35, he was running back into the house. By day 39, he climbed stairs for the first time in five years. Um, by day 200, he was sprinting. And um, just one year after starting ASEA, um, he ended up passing away, but he was active almost all the way to the end, except for the last few days. So the quality of his life also increased to this really magical place that everyone called him, you know, the miracle dog in my neighborhood. So um, so then a year ago, I started Life Wave Patches. Um, and honestly, I, I didn't think anything big would happen because uh, Sia has been so amazing, you know, and um, so, but by day eight, I experienced the same lift in energy and mental focus. Um, it was really interesting. Um, and then in month two, I experienced a boost in my immune system. And I can tell because it's, it kind of felt like, you know, when you have the flu and you're coming out of it and you all of a sudden just feel better because you know, it's over. 
that's what I felt like. I was finally able to go to the grocery store anywhere public without wearing a mask because every time I would try, my throat would get scratchy and then I'd start to come down with something after. And this was within minutes. And so just being able to go to these places without a mask was such a, I mean, it was, it felt like freedom. And then I tested it out by going to a cat's musical with my niece in month three, you know, there are hundreds of people in there. And I was like, oh, for sure, I'm going to get sick. But it, within one hour, I did start to feel a scratch, but afterwards, nothing, nothing happened. And that's huge for me because I've always gotten sick around people who are sick. So another thing that happened month two uh, with the X49 patches, my sensitivity to EMFs went down. So like I had purchased the, these AirPods, but I was only, I had only been able to wear them for about 10 minutes max before I started feeling nauseous mm -hmm. and fatigued. Like I, it was like my kryptonite really. It mm -hmm. just drained everything out of me. But once I started using the X49, I'm able to wear this easily one to two hours with just forgetting about it without feeling anything at all. And that's huge for me. Um, and then on top of that, I've noticed things like scars disappearing, skin improving. My mental abilities are sky high. I mean, I am able to not write down as much as I used to and remember everything. Um, I'm able to multitask and go through projects, juggling multiple things. And it's very straight in my mind. Like nothing gets mixed up or jumbled or it's like, what's that? I don't do that anymore, which is really interesting. Um, I'm leaner, noticing less fat, more muscle tone with nothing changed, um, in exercise. Um, my vision seems to be getting better too. And I have new hair growth in a place I hadn't had hair. Like right now in the video, it looks very bare here, right? That's how it's always been. But if you were in front of me, you could see there's sprouts, new sprouts coming in. <laughs> and that's been since I was a kid. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but one last thing, um, month 11, which was um, a month ago, uh, so I normally get, I'm very sensitive to smells too. And so if I'm walking around, even around a block and I smell laundry from someone's house, I get choked up mm -hmm. and I would get, my eyes would get watery. They would get red. Um, even if I'm walking behind someone who smells like smoke or is wearing cologne or whatever. I mean, I'm like dodging people as I walk, you know, walking around them and I don't have to do that anymore. It was the weirdest thing. Mm -hmm. I just noticed that it got better. So for my niece's um, graduation, we went into Bath and Body Works, which I have not been able to walk even past. We went inside and I did not feel like throwing up. I didn't feel like, I mean, seriously, it would, it would have been really bad before. But And now I can walk by anything and I don't have to feel like I'm being overwhelmed with nausea. So that's my um, last big thing, but I'm so grateful to both ASEA and LifeWave because they've been able to help my body improve itself, but also I can't imagine how many things they've helped me prevent, you know, that's it. Wow, Angela, that was a great, great testimony. Thank you. Thank so you. Um, we look at our health, it's an investment, it's not an expense. So now, are you ready to, to commit to change? First, first is create a plan, rate yourself against the five pillars of health that we talk about, and get an accountability partner. How I met Diane is because she was my accountability partner. So that's why I highlight that. It's very, it's a key. And then start with, with a habit. Don't try to like sew all the habits all at once. Just start with one habit and then stick to it consistently. It feels um, a bit overwhelming to hear all of the information and it's like, where do I start? But two is absolutely right. You know, having having a coach in your corner, having a confidant, having a um, cheerleader, really important to get started. And I love the, the phrase that says, um, inch by inch is a cinch, yard by yard is hard, mile by mile, now that's a trial, but we're here to take you inch by inch. 
So if you're ready to detox and want to learn more, you can schedule a complimentary consultation with either Diane or me. And this is my, uh, this is our family. So connecting with the cause, meaning understanding that health is at the cellular le level and just how toxic are your cells? That's what our strategy sessions are about. Then writing steps to eliminate the crap that's not helping you after you understand connecting to the cause. And then committing to the change. We're here for you, but that one's on you. When you decide you want to commit, I have in the last two years had a hundred percent success ratio with people that are committed mm -hmm. to, to the change. So it's, it, it does take time and everybody's body is different. Mm -hmm. The older we are, the more deep our issues are, the longer it takes. Took us a while to get into this lovely mess that we're in. So it does take some time to get out, but you've got to commit to the change, whether it takes 90 days. You heard Angela talk about the changes that continued to happen for well over years. And that's what I'm finding. I've been on a SIA two years now with an additional very specific parasite cleanse. And I was sitting under lilacs three days in a row without sneezing, welling up in the eyes, runny nose. It was just the most fun thing to be able to actually understand, stop and smell the roses, not anything I would have ever done before, but it took two years to get there. And I also share um, the detox protocol. It's a, it's a five days cycle. And if you're interested, I will be happy to um, provide you information. So both our products have 30 day, no risk money back guarantee. And, and if in the first five people that sign up, we'll be happy to uh, provide you 30 day complimentary detox coaching. And thank you so much for, for your attending. To thank you for um, all the work that you've put in on this, for including me in it. And thank oh. you all for being here with us today and supporting us on this. Um, we obviously are both very passionate about um, helping others help themselves. So we hope to hear from you. We will have this recorded. And two, will the slides be available? Should people want them? Yeah, if they if they if they put the email in the chat, I'll send them the slide. Yeah, because I export them to PDF. Yeah, it's, it's, it's because some of the links is easy to see on the PDF than uh, recording. So, yeah. Okay. So, and um, do we have a couple so, minutes for questions? Yeah, a couple minutes for questions. So I'm going to stop sharing, and then I'm going to stop the recording.